So if you saw the first video, it's just an overview of, of what I'm doing here, real quick showing a fusion and then a uh, real fast print. It's only about two minutes. This video is a longer format. I just want to show my thought process designing in Fusion 360 and then printing it out and using Cura in order to, to make the 3D printed part. So here is the coaster. I was using a just a coaster that had cracked. When it cracked, put a bag over it so it wouldn't leak all over the counter. And then figured, might as well print something else. It'd still be useful. Here's the completed plant coaster. And it's just a plastic circle. Super simple. Holds water, keeps it off the counter. Uh, this one's not completely watertight, but for what I'm using it for, it seems to work perfect. When I draw this, I'm going to draw in on the front plane. And what I'll do is draw the shape and then I will revolve that about the center axis. And so I'll just draw lines and just kind of draw if you think the cross section of the shape. And so just I'm drawing the rough form and it's going ahead and snapping for horizontal lines. And you can see the perpendicular lines up and we can delete those, you know, once we drag it around. So I just drag it around just to see if kind of if it's uh, moving like I wanted it to, you know, if, if things are parallel or if things are or horizontal or vertical. So I like to design in fractional dimensions. So 0.125, so it's an eighth inch, quarter inch, half inch. That's just personal preference for me. You can do millimeters or whatever you want to do. And I want this top surface here that I'm going to delete the, the constraints that say perpendicular. I just want it to be parallel or a horizontal line, so it's parallel with the other two surfaces. Then I'll dimension this as well. And the angle, just I just picked an angle. I mean, whatever I felt like looked good. Things I consider is for thicknesses, is not too thick to where it's just waste plastic, but not too thin to where it's too brittle, you know, where it'll break. So an eighth of an inch, if I'm printing at 0.2 millimeters layer height, uh, that's plenty of layers. 0.2 millimeters is like eight thousandths. So, so I revolved it about the uh, vertical axis in order to get this. I always, this is adding fillets. I always add fillets to the corners and it might take some just playing around to see what size you want. Um, I did 16th inch on the top, and I think I'm going to do 8th inch on the bottom. It just looks better. I made a mistake with the uh, diameter. Uh, I want it to be 3 inches overall, so I need the radius, which is the dimension here, to be inch and a half. And this will give us the correct diameter. I, I just had it too wide. So now that, that looks good. We'll go ahead and save this out and then move over to Cura in order to, to slice the model. In Fusion, we'll save this as an STL. We'll click the body and that shows what we're doing now. The triangles you see on here are tessellations is what it's called, but it's it's on the screen as refinement. And so I will, you can change it. Um, you can leave it medium, whatever you think it needs to be. So the more triangles there are, the finer it will be and the less lines that you'll see in the, pre, the 3D printed part. Now we're going to import the STL into Cura. And so if you'll notice, it comes in, it's way too small. So I'm going to scale this by 25-40%. That's 2540. Now I do that because 25.4 millimeters is in an inch. So by scaling it by that percent, I get the right size. Now I'm going pretty quick here through the settings. I didn't really make the video to show exactly what settings so if you're you have any questions if you want me to post my printer settings just let me know i will um here i'm just going through the layers to look to see you know is there enough layers on the bottom do the walls look all right is there enough on the top so that's all i'm doing and the big thing for this since i do want it to kind of be watertight is to at least have a millimeter or so on the top thickness so i've got 0 0.8 it's close enough it'll be all right um, no matter what i probably would be best to spray some clear coat or use some polyurethane or something like that to keep the water from you know from leaking through
So it looks, it's looking all right. One of my favorite things with this version of Cura is being able to change the file name from the screen here and it saves it super easily and super quick to the SD card. Now I am printing on top of uh, glue stick so you can see the kind of hazy surface. Uh, I put, always put a light layer down and you can put a real thin layer down or you can clean it up with water or put a thicker layer. It just depends if the first layer is sticking or not. Um, I find sometimes that if the first layer is not sticking and the bed's level-ish, you know, it's better to go back and level the bed, but you can probably just put a little more glue down. It works just fine. The bed setting I have is 60 degrees Celsius, and the hot end setting is 235 Celsius, and I am printing an ABS, so that's both for ABS, and I try and keep it as hot as I can for the ABS. It keeps it from cracking. Um, it does work with this printer. Ideally, it'd be 110 Celsius or so, but it's, it does work. It, it is fine. The um, rest of the video is just time lapse of the printer printing. So, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, please leave a comment below, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye.